Hey fam, I hope you all can see me. I don't freaking know how this thing is picking up. But I wanted to come on and let you all know that I took my first test for the LPN to RN bridge. So, with this test, it's supposed to, I feel like the whole class was confused for one. I know I was confused because I'm like, I didn't know that we had more than one instructor. So this like whole bridge program is not just one class. It's like everything is in, I don't freaking know. I still don't know what's really going on in this class, but, oh, but, um, hold on, yeah. So, oh, come on now, just stay put. Okay, so this is, you gotta be kidding me. First things first, um, the instructor, there's one instructor for fundamentals. So she does fundamentals. There's another instructor that started to do, I guess what you would consider med surge because she starts to talk about hypertension. So one teacher was like, the one to do fundamentals was like, I have 36 questions on this test, yada, 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 yada. And it's over a lot of chapters, but that's how it is in nursing anyway. They'd be like, 10 11 12 chapters on one test so um maybe not that many maybe like six or eight chapters on one test so we're already lpns we we pretty much figure okay this is we gotta cram all this stuff in but the thing that te the teacher kept saying is you all already know this you all know this stuff you all know this stuff kept reiterating that right so she gotta do 36 questions then we met up with the other teacher um that starts to to teach us med surge she was one person and i knew i was thinking the same thing she was like do you have to uh so who's gonna be doing the other parts of the question is your test are you gonna is this is this material gonna be on the test she was like no i'm not writing any of your test questions like no i won't be doing that um it'll be on the next test and we was like the girl was like well the other instructor said she's only doing 36 of the questions so we're just trying to figure out where it's coming from because i was thinking the same thing um but anywho she was like well let me clarify she's like you all you know what maybe you, you all could just email such and such and i put the person over the program she's like you know what i'll email that person and like you know what she came back from off our little break we had in between classes like i called her because she's like i need to know um and i'm glad that she like got on it like she actually contacted the person so when she called the person the, the program coordinator over the bridge program she was like so she told me that I am going to have this material on the test Monday. Did not know that. Okay. So this was the Tuesday before the next test, which was on Monday. She just now realized that she's going to have test questions on this test. Had somebody in the class not said anything, what would have happened? I don't freaking know. Mind you, this is the second time they had an issue with communication. But okay, it's Mercury retrograde. I believe in that. Communication is all over the place nowadays. So okay, whatever. Which way do I need to turn? I guess I'm going to keep going straight so that happened so we had 36 fundamental questions the rest what was that 14 questions uh come from the med surge hypertension that we just learned so we do the test y'all we did a review session with the teacher who does the fundamentals part i felt like the review session did really went really well i feel like okay i get i understand this information more and i still did some ati questions and ati modules and things like that because it was a lot of chapters on one test like you all i'm not even kidding i'm gonna count how many chapters and i'll put them on here that she said was gonna be on this test just in 36 questions but like she kept saying you all know this stuff you're lpns you already know this so we do the test it was like five select all questions maybe like four three or four it was a lot you know when you see the select all i just feel like it's the end of the world but anywho it was a lot of select all questions and it was just like the wording of it i was like what is she asking like i'm and you could clearly tell what questions were fundamentals what were med surge because one is talking about a specific disease process whereas fundamentals might not talk about the disease process might bring it up but it's not like going into detail okay great so we do the test and you cannot see your test results right away the person that's over the program that person is supposed to review everybody make sure like because we do something where since it's a remote testing they have to make sure you're not trying to talk to somebody you're not looking around flipping through pages and nothing like that so anytime there's something on the program that sparks like oh uh, the student did this the student did that the person that's moderating the whole test has to then 
go to that part and be like okay what was actually happening at this part with this student oh does it look like you know just to make sure that we're being we're having academic integrity right that's what they call it nobody cheating so yeah i'm going the right way so we had to wait we wait and we still didn't get the results then it looked like the test posted on the blackboard but it didn't really break nothing down but right after you got done with the test you could see what you got wrong but it didn't have the test options it just had the, the test question and it said like zero out of one points or one out of one point so i tallied up all my stuff and i had i had got oh crap now i'm forgetting i got 13 questions wrong right so i did the math that put me at a 74 percent so if you all do not know 74 percent usually is a c in any other you know world but in the nursing world and i'm sure in other healthcare allied health um you know settings that's a d that's failing i think in order to pass this test i would have had to get like a 78 i need to actually look at my my grading rubric again but any home after the test i knew for sure i needed to review this test because it was some stuff where i was like i gotta see why i got that wrong because this is just uh. so i went ahead and put out the request to review the test by the teachers and all that um but from both teachers but mostly from that fundamentals part because i was like this is the wording is weird man it's of course NCLEX questions are weird to begin with you know nursing school type questions are weird to begin with but the wording isn't always <laughs> That you know the difference like if you i felt like all of us okay let me tell y'all what happened so this is what happened that happened and it's like two other people that i talked to from school um we got like a we did a little study session like we did good right and so um here it come a week later monday yesterday no tuesday come no we we did the test monday wasn't a week later it was the next day the next day we go into the classroom we about to start our class and the person the program coordinator came in the teacher wasn't there the program coordinator came in and was like i just think i'm waiting for everybody to come in I'm waiting for everybody to come in she's basically like what the f happened what happened y'all y'all need to let me know what's going on because she said well, she ain't said like that but this is basically the synopsis of it all she was like i can clearly see the hypertension question, so that's what we learned in the med surge part was hypertension. I can clearly see those questions and the answers, the statistics on those answers are sound. Meaning the amount of people that probably got these questions wrong is the same, you know, it's the same amount of people that got them wrong and the same amount of people that got them right. Or it could be like 80% of the class passed it, whereas 20% didn't pass those 14 questions that she had that seems like a good you know a good statistic that's probably how it usually normally is right she didn't give specific numbers but that's what that's basically what she's saying like oh okay i can look at those questions those questions are sound the answer choices are sound meaning that this is how we would go about doing this this looks sound this looks like okay this looks legit you know so i can't find any other words whatever so but she said the statistics on the fundamental questions are all over the place. They're all over the place. I can't really tell if y'all understood the, the information or she basically saying like, I can't tell if it's y'all or if it's this teacher. And she was saying, this is unprecedented. Now she did say, she said, this is unprecedented. And um, I'm gonna have to do something else. I need to understand what was it, what was happening. And so somebody of course got on and was like, she had used an example from the hypertension questions and was like this is okay i understood why that was the answer choice or what like that made sense to me but she tried to recall one of the questions from the fundamental part and she couldn't even recall one of the questions and the program coordinator was like the fact that you can't recall one of the questions kind of shows that this was probably effed up she ain't saying like that but that's basically what she said um because you couldn't recall it like it was muddled you know um anyways because like when you know you got a question wrong you can kind of at least at least with me i'm like i know i got that question wrong i knew exactly what it was i knew i got it wrong so anywho but it was so many that you like if you look at my face while i was taking the test i was like 
Like, because <laughs> you got to have that webcam up. Every time I saw a question, I was like, my whole, I, because I know my face was like, what the, f like, this ain't right. And after we took the test, I was, we was talking in our little group. And we was like, I was like, they're going to have to throw out some of these questions. I know for sure that people got this stuff wrong. I know, because I told y'all, I'm confident in my ability to take a test. Like, I know how to take tests. Now, granted, I'm a little rusty. I haven't done a whole bunch of NCLEX style questions. I haven't done a bunch of these questions in a while. But I understand how to have I don't have test. I don't have not one lick of test anxiety. That's something I can say with confidence. That's weird. That's what I can say with confidence. I don't have test anxiety. I don't have none of that. Yeah, I'd be like, ooh, okay, I got to take this test. But usually I'm excited to take a test because I want to see if I know this stuff and I want to make sure, like, I want to be able to see, okay, I got it or I don't have it or I need to work on this. Like, I'm okay with that. I don't have test anxiety. So I knew if I was, like, you know, struggling, I was like, mm, this test ain't finna be, this, uh-uh, no. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all got to throw this test out. <laughs> that's what i was telling people in the study group i said she's gonna look at everything and she's gonna see if there's something going on that's exactly what happened that's exactly what happened so we we pretty much was talking people were saying you know i don't think there's anything wrong with the teacher she's a great professor but we went on the the lecture was it was a lot of tangents in the lecture it was really hard to follow the lecture like they put it out there how they was feeling about this teacher the one i told y'all about in the last video I posted, so go watch it if you want to know the details. I'm trying to clean my car while I'm talking to y'all. So, oh y'all, once you actually look at your car, you be like, golly, what is all this stuff just sitting here? So, um, anyways, so she was like, it got to the point where she basically said, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have to. We're gonna have to throw this test out. We're gonna y'all gonna have to get another test. She said this is unprecedented, so I'm not really exactly sure what I'm going to do, how I'm going to go about doing it. But this test is not, basically she's saying like, this test ain't going to count. Like we're going to have to give y'all another test. And I think the thing with her, she's just trying to figure out who going to write the test, how they going to write the test. Is she going to have to write the test? Is she going to keep some of the questions that was in there in there? Hopefully we don't have to do the hypertension questions again, but Hey, if we do, at least I can go through it and be like, okay, you know, do a little bit better. I think I did pretty decent on the hypertension questions. That's the thing. I knew for sure. And I, the, the thing is, when we were studying, I said, I'm not worried about the hypertension because I feel like that's straightforward. It's only talking about one subject. Straightforward. The lecture was straightforward. And we only had one day of lecture. We had like three days of lecture with this other teacher. Girl, the crust of it all. So let me drink something. Hold on. So I got nothing else in here. So yeah. Y'all. Yeah. So that happened. I'm up at this school. I got to get my freaking ID. Ugh, it's my second time coming up to the school to get this shit. I, my name better be on this freaking list. So, yeah, she, uh, I don't know. She's like, I'm not trying to dog the teacher. The 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 clinical, not the clinical, the, the director of it all was like, yeah, um, we're not here, you know, to talk about the teacher as a teacher. But we there is obviously something going on that we need to get to the bottom of. Um and go from there and the thing is i don't think it's the material because we went over the stuff that was on there i feel like we did go over it she gave us a study guide she had review sessions everything it's just the way she worded it was really off it was weird man and i told her i said i don't feel like i i felt like the questions weren't to tell me if this makes sense to y'all y'all know how when you're doing a test you think like a nurse I don't feel like the questions were made for us to think like nurses. I think the questions were made for us to think like that particular nurse. Do y'all get what I'm saying? When you do in-class style questions, you are being tested on, do you, do you, are you able to do this job? Are you able to do this task as a prudent nurse, as any other nurse would do? And I think the way that the professor worded it was not for a prudent nurse. It was just for her. And so when I, I said it a little bit more clear and concise, right? And straight to the point, but the person over the thing, she was like, yeah okay the way you worded that i totally get what you're saying like yep i get what you're saying okay so um i'll, I'll keep y'all updated i'm up in this school now but i'll keep y'all updated
so yeah y'all tell me has anything like this ever happened to y'all like i've known the reason why i knew that they probably gonna throw out some questions because i knew for sure some of them questions was really crazy and i've you know when you be in school you know sometimes they'll grade on the curb they'll do all this and the third i thought they might take out a few questions and i don't know she might just only take out a few questions that like everybody got wrong but like she said the statistics look like probably everybody got everything wrong i don't know um but she was like uh somebody in the class was like so what was the average score for everybody she was like uh-uh i'm not even gonna tell y'all that i'm not even gonna say it because i'm not even gonna say it i'm just i'm just not gonna say it i'm not gonna say it she's like i know y'all know this material this is fundamental you all are already nurses so she's like i have to see do you understand this material or is it this class so she's like we're gonna have to do something so <laughs> Like I said, while you're here talking about this dang old vaccine, is this going to be on the test? If not, why are we talking? About? I already said it. Y'all, go, let me. Y'all, they going to learn today. Nah, but for real. <laughs>